Hey, I wanted to show you guys in a single script how you can attach it to some game object and that will allow you to click and drag on them with the mouse. And once you let go, it will set their position in the world. And you can do this with any object basically that has that script attached to it. All right, so I set up my 2D scene here and I have a book, a barrel, and a scarecrow. And right now, the only things they have attached to them is a box collider 2D. I removed the script I made from the intro. So let's go ahead and create our script. In the assets folder, I'm gonna right click and create a new c -sharp script called draggable. Call it whatever you want. And then I'll make sure that I select my three game objects here. And just to get it out of the way, I'll drag that new script onto it. Haha, <laughs> dragging the draggable script. All right, let's open it up. So this script is actually going to be really, really short. And there's two built-in methods Unity provides us that we can actually make use of. Similar to start and update that are defaulted, we can actually type in on mouse down and on mouse drag. And so the difference here is on mouse down will be the first frame called when you click on a game object and on mouse drag will be, you know, called every frame after that. Kind of like update, but just while you're holding down the mouse on a game object. Okay, but before we go into these two, let's actually create our first variable, which is going to be a vector three. And I'm gonna call this mouse position offset because how we kind of want to handle this is like, we could click on this barrel from like a variety of different positions, right? So on that first click, we want to capture where our mouse is so that when we drag up and down or wherever, we can move the barrel's position relative to where the mouse first clicked, if that makes sense. And it's really not hard to do so. So the first thing I'm actually going to do before going into on mouse down and drag is make a utility method. So I'll say private vector three, because that's what we want to return. And I'm going to call this get mouse world position. And then the only thing we want to do here is capture mouse position and return the world point. And so there's a handy method on a camera. So I'll say return camera.main which by the way, camera.main is gonna do a hard search in your scene for something called main camera, and then it will try and extract the camera component off of it. So if you don't have something called main camera, this will actually fail. In that case, you could like pass in a camera or it'd be better to have some sort of like accessible exposed camera that's being used at the time. But, but you know, for the sake of this demo, I'm using camera.main, don't worry about it. Regardless of whatever camera you're using, you wanna do camera.screen to world point. And then we can pass in our input dot mouse position. So this is just going to turn our mouse position relative to our monitor and our screen and convert that into a vector three position in world space. So with that utility method in place, the first thing we wanna do in on mouse down is capture our mouse offset position. So I'll say mouse position offset is equal to, and then I'll say game object dot transform dot position. So this would be like the barrels position. And then I'll do minus get mouse world position. So when we first click, we'll capture the mouse position offset. And then as we're dragging our object around, we just want to move it relative to where that offset is. So we could say transform.position is equal to get mouse world position plus mouse position offset. And since we're updating the transform.position here, when we let go, the game object will actually be left at the location we stop dragging the game object. All right, so with this one very simple script set up, we have it attached to our three game objects. I can now click, it will capture that position offset. I can drag, our game objects will move with our mouse and follow it, and then I can let go, and they'll stay in that position we drop them off at. You can do this with anything that has that script attached. So, you know, as you can see, everything seems to be working as intended, which is great. And the last thing I want to show you guys, which is really cool about this, is if you actually click and drag down here in the bottom, well, then it tells you to subscribe. So you should go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. I'll wait. I got time. Thanks for watching.